the Business and Travel Club where I help travel brands optimize their digital footprint. I am Shanae, the traveler and creative. Today, I am going to share my experience living as a Peace Corps volunteer in Morocco. Have you ever yearned for something more in life something that was completely different from your current day to day? Well, that was me in 2015 when I decided to join the Peace Corps. Today's video collaboration is with Jasmine Okocha of the Jazzy Nation. And I am super excited to be collaborating with Jasmine on this video because we literally lived in Morocco at the exact same time. Jasmine as the expat and me as the volunteer. After you finish watching A Day in the Life as a Peace Corps volunteer, hop over to Jasmine Jasmine's channel and watch her video about a day in the life as an expat where she shares tips on how to navigate Morocco as an expat. She talks about where she lived, what she did for fun, what she did for work. She's going to give you a look at what to expect if you move to Morocco as an expat. When I decided to join Peace Corps, it was because I wanted something more out of life. I wanted a totally different experience from my current day to day. I wanted to learn a new language, culture. I wanted to be a part of a new environment that made me meet different parts of myself, that made me come in touch with different parts of the world and really to expand my entire world view. Prior to 2015, I had no idea the Peace Corps even existed. It was my second semester in graduate school and I was already thinking about what I was gonna do next. I stumbled upon Peace Corps, my whole intention for or post-grad was that I wanted to move to a different country. I wanted to experience living outside of America. Immediately after grad school would be the perfect time for me to experience this life abroad that I had always wanted. Peace Corps checked all of the major boxes. It provided medical insurance, monthly stipends, a local experience, language training, a housing stipend, and move abroad coordination. They offered readjustment allowance. And the one thing I wanted most was time. <laughs> I was still in this phase of figuring life out. What is it that I wanted to do exactly? The Peace Corps was everything that I needed. It was the security that I needed to be able to go to another place, live a different life, experience all the things that I want to experience, and still have all of my basic needs covered. So that was my thinking behind joining the Peace Corps. Now I'm about to take you all the way back to 2016 to the exact day that I left Cleveland to fly to Morocco. They canceled my flight this morning and I'm 27 from Cleveland straight to Philly. Next thing I know, I got put on a different flight at 10.15. I went from Cleveland to North Carolina, now to Philly. So it's 2.50 I think. I'm headed to Crown Plaza where I have to register for the Peace Corps. So finally, I'm here in Philly, excited. Got this super heavy bag on my back. Gosh, all my technology is in here. So this is a very important package. I'm here at the hotel in Philly and it's about 10 o'clock at night. We check out at 11 a.m. and we're gonna take the bus to JFK in the morning and from JFK we're gonna fly to Morocco. So I'll be in Morocco probably about 8 a.m. Wednesday morning. From September 2016 to February 2017, I lived with two Moroccan host families. And honestly, I will say that's what really helped me to improve my language because no one in my host families spoke English fluently. So I had to speak the local language. We got here on the 21st of September. From there, we stayed in Rabat for two weeks and then we left and we I've been with my host family since then. It's been one month since I've lived with my host family and they're absolutely amazing. They adore me. As a youth development volunteer, I taught English as a foreign language to the students in my community. The community wanted me to teach English to the students because it was supplemental to what they would be learning in the classrooms. And we talk about what success means. And the girls show so much excitement around speaking English and learning new words and the activities that we did they they really had a lot of fun min sharks old hetel sharp nash and a can tell them derija kuten hard the shilash and a can had their derija kabul hadak and a makanash a haja be derija now language training right now i'm at my cbt site which is called uh 
my community-based training. And for community-based training, I'm learning about the culture, the Moroccan culture, and I'm learning about the Moroccan language. Here in Morocco, they speak Darija, which is a form of Arabic. I have language training from Monday to Saturday. When I say, Salam, they just smile, they light up, and it's awesome to see. And then to um, hear me speak in the language to them, they they enjoy they enjoy that. Even though sometimes it's difficult to understand, still the effort that I'm putting into practice is is making my integration go very well. I will say that learning this language is very challenging because it's totally different from English. The language is based on sound. It's a challenge. I wanted to learn this language. So I'm here and I'm enjoying it and I'm making the best out of it. At the end of training, I officially swore in as a Peace Corps volunteer. And that was from September 2016 to December 2016. As you can see, my experience as a volunteer was extremely regimented. I woke up every day, went to language training, from language training. I spent lunch at home with my host family. And then I went back to class. And at the, end, at the end of the night, I went back to my host family's house, ate dinner, and prepared for the next day. Every single day. It was so regimented. That was until I moved to my own apartment and I finally got my own space and started to create my own experiences and my own day-to-day -day routines because I wasn't living with host families at that seven-month mark. And I was in the Mid-Atlas Mountains in a city of about 15,000 people in this apartment by myself in the middle of Morocco. I'm so excited to share more of my stories and more of my experiences on the live on the 24th at 10 a.m. with the Jazzy Nation. All of the adventurous stories and all of the people that I came in contact with, I'm just really happy to share that experience because it has really shaped who I am today. Jasmine moved to Morocco in 2016 with her husband. She lived there for two years and worked as an English teacher. Her favorite experience about living in Morocco was the ability to travel around the country and regions in that area. She loves Moroccan food, shopping at Moroccan markets, meeting local friends, and experiencing Moroccan culture. And she looks forward to returning to Morocco one day. So excited to share my experience as a volunteer in Morocco and for you all to go to Jasmine's channel and hear her experience as an expat in Morocco. There's so much perspective and value that you can learn from her story and I'm glad that you were able to hear my story. Go and check out the different worlds we lived in at the exact same time. Until next time, bye!